back in Cork and this time I'm joined by Cork's Christopher Joyce. You've been around a few seasons and from what I've heard, this season's your best yet. Yeah, it's my, uh, I suppose my eighth season involved in the Cork panel, so um, look, it's great to be involved with traps. Absolutely delighted to be here and to be playing, so no complaints. I saw an interview you did a few months ago and you spoke about how Cork needed to prove that you had consistency. Is this the year that you're finally showing that? Yeah, like look, I suppose um, we're definitely performing well. You know, we we went through four games unbeaten in the Munster Championship, and then we went to a Munster final against a, a very good Clare team, and we won. So look, that's definitely showing consistency there, especially to win back-to-back Munster titles. But I suppose ultimately we're looking for a seventy-minute performance of consistency, and I don't think we've got there yet this year. You know, I think we've played in patches. We had a great first half against Tip. We finished strong in the second half against Clare in the Munster final. So. I suppose there's definitely still room for improvement for us. We definitely would look, want to try and get 70 minute performance. Does any team really ever get 70 minutes though? Because every team will always have a purple patch and it's very, very difficult on the mind to stay constantly switched on and focused entirely for 70 minutes. Yeah, look, and I suppose that, that is the case. You know, um, each, as you said, each team are going to have their purple patch and I suppose ultimately all we can do is bring attitude and work rate at, at those times. You know, I think it's about limiting what they do during their proper patch, you know, making sure that we're that a bit extra tight in the back so when we can see that teams are getting a run on us so we don't concede goals, everybody's working that bit harder and then I suppose on the flip side when we get our proper patch it's about base fellas having the confidence to really just go for it and drive it on from there like so so I suppose she said you're never going to get the full seventy minutes but look there's nothing stopping you from working hard and having the right attitude for the seventy minutes. One thing that was notable about your own performance when you played Clare in the Munster final was that obviously you played in the backs, but you're well able to come up as well and get those scores when they counted. I assume it's more of that you'd be trying to bring to the semi final. Well, look, I suppose what we're trying to do is just do the right thing. You know, I suppose everyone's once the guy has the ball, I suppose it's about giving to the giving to the ball to the guy in the best position next. You know, and I think it's very important that when a lad has a ball, you're presenting, you're making yourself available, you're trying to take the pressure off the person with the ball. And I suppose that's all we're doing is when we get the ball, there's guys coming at you, there's guys supporting you, and you just give the guy to the person in the better position. And I suppose if the shot is on, fellas are going to take the shot. If not, they're going to give it to the guy in the better position. And I suppose that's the thing about this year. There's no selfishness in this team. Guys are giving that. that pass if it's on. Was there selfishness before or maybe was it lack of game intelligence when you know sometimes we, we'd all be watching it on the TV and you're screaming lay it off lay it off and they might go the step too far is that selfishness or is it naivety? No I, I, maybe it's just don't confidence like maybe there was a shot might have been on before and a fella might have just passed it off to get rid of it might not want to take, talk the shot on but I think this year fellas are stepping up and they're saying look if it's on they'll go for it Um just don't have belief in the game plan really and just believing in yourself as a team. Maybe if you were down by a couple of points before you might have just launched the ball in into the full forward line and just it was all hell broke loose up there and not might have come from it. But while this year we're not we're not panicking, no, I don't think we're focusing too much on the scoreboard, we're focusing on a performance and we're just trying to deliver the ball through the lines and get the ball over the bar as quickly as possible. So I think ultimately this year is we're just sticking to the game plan. Did you watch Limerick playing Kilkenny on Sunday? I didn't. I uh, I I try and stay away from it. I'd be more folk. We had trained ourselves, so I'd be more focused on ourselves and training hard and just trying to build our own performance and not worrying about the opposition. I'm assuming you'll watch it at some point though between now and the semi final, would you? No, I won't. To be honest with you, I, I don't. I don't. I, I, I Some guys are different. Guys would. Some fellas would be mad to watch it. I I wouldn't be. Uh, not myself. You know. I think you might see something and might try and might distract you. I I just wouldn't. I'd be more focused on myself, trying to just train hard and hopefully. If I get myself right, hopefully that'll be enough for me under the day. Now maybe this is the nosy journalist in me, but I find that really hard to believe that you wouldn't stake out the opposition. It'd be the first thing I'd do. Look, I suppose at the end of the day, like we're trying to bring our own performance, we're trying to bring our own game plan and we're gonna try and dictate the pace of the game, you know. So I I, I don't need to worry what those guys are gonna do against us, you know. I just think I need to worry about what I'm gonna do and what my teammates are gonna do on the day, like so look, that's what I'm totally focused on is our own as ourselves like. And does that come maybe from you watching games maybe in previous times and previous years and then finding when you're out there playing you were distracted by what you saw before rather than what was happening on the pitch? Yeah, look, I think you can buy into something. You know, you might see a guy score a point from his right hand one day and you might think, oh, he's going to only do that the next day. You know, so look, I think you can you can overanalyze as well. You know, I think you need to have that bit of freedom as well on the pitch. Like, you know, you just need to go and perform and hurl and get in the ball yourself. And look, if you're totally focused on the other guy, you're not you're not focused about yourself. Like, and I don't, you might be, you might come out of the game plan at that stage. So I just, again, as we said, we're trying to focus on ourselves.